I am now introducing Insane Ian. Achievement unlocked! Greetings, Internet, and welcome to another episode of A Comedy Musician Reacts. My name is Insane Ian, I'm a comedy musician and comedy music fan, and on this show I react to comedy music from the perspective of a comedy musician. Because that's what I am, and that's what I do, and that's what this is, and that's why you're here, and that's why this week, that's why today, I am reacting to Donald Trump versus Kamala Harris, the epic rap battle of history. If this is your first time joining us, yes, I am a comedy musician. I react exclusively to comedy music because that is where my field of expertise is. What this means for you is that I'm going to pause the video. Kind of a lot, actually. This way I'm not talking over or even laughing over the jokes and missing them. This way I can talk how the lyrics and video work in tandem to help enhance the comedy. Sometimes I'm analyzing the video. Sometimes I'm summarizing the video. Sometimes I'm explaining jokes, because that's always fun for people. And sometimes I'm just sitting back and laughing my damn head off. It's a crapshoot whatever you're going to get, but I think it's a good time anyway. If you like that sort of thing, please like, share, comment, subscribe, do all the things to feed the algorithm and get more eyeballs onto these videos. And if you really want to help the channel out, consider supporting me on Patreon, where patrons get to see these videos early, get my music and comedy early, and all sorts of other cool things like that. But anyway, all of that out of the way, let us dive into this week's video. Uh, I say this week's... There's going to be another video this week. I'm doing this one specifically to come out on Election Day because this is about the election. I have already voted uh, because I did early voting, which is available here in my county. Uh, hopefully you are able to do so too, but as this video is coming out on Election Day, go out and vote. Uh, it is an important election. Uh, if you're in the U.S., obviously. If you're not in the U.S., this uh, is just a regular video and doesn't apply to you. It's, it's an, uh, an important election in North America. But, anyway, uh, I've reacted to some of ERB's election videos before. Uh, I will preface this by already preemptively stating my bias. Uh, I uh, will not beat around the bush. I fucking hate Donald Trump. Uh, and, uh, so, yes, that may influence my opinion in some of this. I don't care. The man is a traitor to America and one of the worst pieces of shit to ever exist on this planet. Yeah, bias. Don't give a fuck. Anyway, uh, <laughs> go out and vote. Um, I've done this before in some of their stuff. Also, this video, uh, came out just last week. Normally, their election videos come out a little sooner, but uh, parties changed. Uh, instead of it being Biden, it switched to Kamala Harris, which means they probably had to change what they were already previously writing, and it probably delayed the video. I don't know if that's true or not, but that's my assumption. Anyway, let's, let's just dive into this and uh, get some of this out of the way. It's a decent beat. <laughs> and you know, uh, Epic Lloyd has played Donald Trump in three of the four times they've had Trump in a battle. The first time they had Trump in, the, in a battle was with the... Uh, it, was, it was a Christmas video, and he was the spirit of Christmas present, or something like that. And uh, Nice Peter played him in that one. Uh, Lloyd does a much better impression. Uh, the smile, if you want to call it that. Like, he's doing the little creepy dance that he does. And then that smile, that, like, that's a great impression just physically. And he's, he stands the same way where he's always, like, half forward. Impressions are uh, a difficult thing to get right for a lot of people because some people think it's only a vocal thing or some people only treat it as a vocal thing. But, you know, having the mannerisms and having the, the, the personality in not just the expression but the physicality as well, that's what really sells a good impression um, and, and helps in comedic situations such as these. Yes, it's uh, that's what kind of breakdown I'm going to do on that particular thing. Anyway. I got the 
best word plays Asked by supporters I've got more disabilities Than any of Pad's reporter all right, right out the gate, right out the gate, uh, I will say that is a solid bar. I've got more disabilities, the ability to diss people. I've got more disabilities than a New York Times reporter, because famously, he made fun of a reporter's physical disability uh, in a very awful way. Still don't know how he got elected after that, but you can't deny the uh, way, uh, the way that some people connect with other things. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. You're a scam. Your whole nomination is a hoax. The party is so broke choice, the aborted estates right the vote. That's a... <laughs> <laughs> Again, uh... It's a lot of projection on on his part. Uh, <laughs> you're you're a scam. Sure. All right. Push it, pussy bones. Think you could scare me with prison? Get your mugshot and your mugshot. Then come talk to me about convictions. To the radical left, you should be embarrassed. The way you divide our country, I'll call you Camel Toe Harris. You're a I hope to God Donald does not see this because he would use that name. You know 100% he would use that name. Just... The, the elections have gotten to the point where both sides are saying you're dividing the country. And... There may be some nugget of truth to that, but the ways in which they're dividing the country are not equal. Um, let me just put it to you this way. If you, as a candidate, have the support of admitted racists, admitted Nazis, admitted well, uh, white supremacists, that's what's dividing the country. We are a melting pot. America is a melting pot of people. It's not all white people. It wasn't before we got here. It was a nation of Native Americans who are not white people. Uh, and having people who are white supremacists back you does not make you the good guy. And when I say literal Nazis, there was a, a, a boat thing that the Trump campaign was doing recently where they had a bunch of ships on the water campaigning for Trump, and one of them was flying literal swastika and Nazi flags. If you are being backed by Nazis and you are not denouncing them backing you, guess what? You're in the Nazi party now. If you're dining with Nazis, then you don't say that I'm not part of them, you're fucking part of them. Not that fucking difficult. Let's take it back a little bit. Uh, the, the beat is solid. I will, I will give it this. The, the, the beat on the song is, is a solid beat. His bars are decent. Uh, I, the last time I reacted to this, I was just like, so sternly not wanting to hear any of his bars, but his bars have been decent. They've been, they've been funny, so. As reporter, you're a scam. Your whole nomination is a hoax. The party is so broke choice, the aborted estates right the vote. That's a pushy pussy vote. I also don't quite get that line, and I'm sure somebody in the comments will explain it to me whether I want them to or not. Uh, aborted a whole state's right to vote. I think, I think... That may have to be in doing with the whole Roe versus Wade thing, um, you know, saying that that should be up to the the government rather than the state. The states deciding whether or not abortion should be legal in their state or not. I think that's what he's re referencing to, since he's saying, you know, so pro-choice who aborted a state's right to vote. I think that's what the bar means. Um, that said, 
uh, we also had a, a battle, a civil war, if you could say that, about certain states' rights to certain things. Letting the states decide those things was kind of the point of a war that happened civilly. History. Get your mugshot, then your mugshot, then talk to me about convictions. So you can only speak about it if it happens to you. Because he got his 34 convictions. Uh, 34 counts of, 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 of convictions there in that, in just in the one trial. And uh, so he got his mugshot from going to, to, to jail and then got his mug shot at. Um, which, ironically, or not, maybe not ironically, was somebody who was also a former supporter of his. Not even somebody from the left shooting at him. Somebody on the right. There's a lot of talk about how maybe that was a staged thing, especially as the Secret Service didn't stop him from wrestling his way out of them to hold his fist up. Um... Because, you know, hey, somebody's shooting at me, let me put my hand up, because I don't know if they've taken out the shooter or not. Two people in the background got hit and died for this photo op of his. Not saying whether it's real or not, not saying whether it's staged or not, but it doesn't look real. You know what I'm saying? To the right is the left, you should be embarrassed The way you divide our country, I'll call you Camelco Harris Your right. inflation's got a... He also kind of did the Vulcan salute on that, which uh, insults me personally. Uh, Camelco Harris is... I hate that I think it's funny. <laughs> you know what I mean? Alright. Nation clipping Cuba. While it's leaking worse than a wet lab and whoop, I had it. Alright, that's a, that's a COVID bar. <laughs> Let's take it back here a second here. We're gonna, the way you divide our country, I call you Camel Toe Harris. Jesus Christ. I'm, I'm, I'm 40 seconds into this, and I've stopped it 500 times. I warned you I'd pause it. Um, but holy shit. Our country, I'll call you Camel Toe Harris. Your inflation's got our nation clipping Cuba. While it's leaking worse than a wet lab and whoop. I had every American's 401k thriving. Stock market's higher than the planes full of migrants you fly in and don't... Um... No, you didn't. No, you, you didn't. It's just, that's just an outright lie. Don't even try to deny the cause of the decline you were hiding. Wrap it up, Joe, like it was Weekend at Biden's. I'm here to teach you. Weekend at Biden's. All right, that's also funny. Uh, admittedly, Joe is having some cognitive decline, and obviously that's why Harris replaced him. Um, but that's not to say that it doesn't go both ways, especially in some of uh, Trump's current speeches that just ramble on for decades it feels like where he like starts talking about one thing and it just loops and loops and never gets back to the original point he is the oldest uh, nominee on a ticket we've ever had uh, since Biden stepped down it makes him the oldest now and his cognitive abilities are constantly in question but no the press do not treat him the same way that they did Biden for the same problems that he's been having his cognitive abilities are practically nil, and uh, the way he he ra he ran out of things to say and danced on stage for 39 minutes, and not even dance, just that little jig that he does, where occasionally the arms move, where he looks like he's jerking off two invisible pundits. All right, it's just no. But losing to a winner feels like as tense. I know how to drop a mic. 
losing to a winner. You lost, dude. You are twice impeached and lost the last election and only admitted, like, within the past three days that he lost that election. Was saying for four fucking years that the election was stolen and he didn't lose it. And now has finally slipped and said he lost it. All right. That's Trump's verse. Let's get into Kamala's here. I don't know the actress playing her. Uh, let's see how this goes. Take it back a couple seconds here. Uh, the dancing in the background, which they always do in the ERB videos, uh, looks hilarious. It's to a winner feels like as pets. I know how to drop a mic. <laughs> uh, I, I should have mentioned during that line that, that stopped me at first. Yeah, he dropped his original uh, uh, vice president who was with him in the White House, Mike Pence, because Mike Pence would not uh, back his idea of refuting the election results, which a vice president can't do anyway. It's not within their power. But because he wouldn't, uh, the insurrection that he staged on January 6th had people uh, with a noose trying to find Mike Pence to hang him. That's why he now has Vance instead. JD, I like couches Vance. Um, by the way, uh, just as a shameless plug for a friend of mine, if you're on TikTok, uh, Crabman732, uh, otherwise known as Ross Childs, is a comedian, friend of mine, does comedy music, but also does a lot of improvisational comedy, has been doing uh, these videos of J.D. Vance vi visiting other establishments, kind of based on the when J.D. Vance went to go get donuts, and that crazy-ass video that came out of that. Uh, go watch those. His, his J.D. Vance impression is hilarious, but the videos as a whole are hilarious. Check them out. Uh, he's on YouTube, he's on uh, uh, Instagram Reels, he's on TikTok, Crabman732. Check it out, it's very funny. Alright, let's get into Kamala's verse now. I know you're not all ears, but listen up close. You are J.D. Vance's beer and level weird. You are gross. You've been bending American decency over a barrel. Get in Lady Liberty, the finger like these Legion girls. Okay. Uh, first couple of lines weren't great. Um, bending America over the barrel, giving Lady Liberty the finger like she's E. Jean Carroll. That's a great line. I will give it that. That is a great line. That is the person who, uh, the big lawsuit with the 34 counts, um, came out about, I believe. I, I, th I think that was about, about that one, you know, the sexual misconduct account. Um, so that's, and like, you know, he's supposed to be paying uh, for that because he was found guilty in that case, and of course he's not because he never pays. He never pays anything. He, <laughs> Trump was stuck on the tarmac in a, I forget what city it was, because the last time he was there, uh, he had them make something, and he never finished paying for it. And so they were like, well, you're not getting into the city now, because you never paid. Um, just, just ridiculous. Uh, I don't know what this voice is. I don't know if this is the actress's voice, or if this is trying to be an impression. I don't think Kamala sounds like this. It's a very nasal voice, very kind of more high-pitched than I'm used to how... It, Kamala Harris sounds, um, but uh, it's it was not what I was expecting to come out of of that uh, that 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 voice did not match the image. Uh, so let's let's take it back here a little bit. And also, it's this beat kind of lends itself to kind of slower bars. Uh, I I I feel like I want it to pick up the pace a little bit. <laughs> That's a great bar. Uh, from documents to pedos, you spend too much time with files. Yes, because Trump took all these classified documents out of the White House with him that he had no right to take. They're not his. They're the government's. 
but he thought because he used to be the president he could take them and stack them in a bathroom in his creepy as Mar-a-Lago place. And also, yes, uh, the uh, Epstein things have come out. His name has been on the transcripts for the flights to Epstein's Island a lot. So, pedophiles and government files, too many time with them. It's a good bar. Wow! Calling Laura Loomer Timu Melania. That is... That is a great line. Like, we used to say things were the wish version of things, and now... Then, then comes along Timu to, to offer up even cheaper crap, and uh, that's a good comparison. Uh, lately, uh, in the news, it has been said that, that Trump is losing interest in Laura Loomer because he's learned that she's had plastic surgery, which, like, looking at Laura Loomer like you didn't know that, and it, just looking at her, because um, Trump hates plastic surgery for some reason. Uh, and, uh, so his interest in her has waned. Man is the mo more shallow man you will ever meet. Ugh. Yuck. You fail in your own city. Bank, ballot box, and court. You're home alone, too. You lost to New York. <laughs> okay. Yes. Not only did he lose, uh, in court in New York, he's not allowed to run a business in New York anymore. Uh, but also lost on the ballot and, you know, lost with the bank there. And he was in Home Alone 2. He has a brief cameo in that movie. Um, uh, <laughs> former actor Donald Trump, known for Home Alone 2. Ah. I was there on January 6th, it wasn't fun for me. Just like your bowels, I was evacuated suddenly. The man shits himself. There's, there's no sugarcoating that. There's pictures of him on golf courses with... He didn't fall, but there is a mysterious brown stain on his pants numerous times. He's 78. For history's he's hopeful, presidential hopeful, mood swinging wildly like stock and true social. <laughs> Mood swinging wildly like stock in Truth Social. Truth Social being the Trump funded uh, alternative to Twitter, uh, which Twitter has now almost basically become Truth Social anyway because Elon, who backs Trump and has been s dumping huge millions of dollars into a super PAC for that. Um, yeah, uh, Truth Social stock keeps fluctuating and going crazy on just about every instance of outbursts. Um, also in the background, uh, she's doing a bunch of, like, uh, breakdancing. So, she, like, she did that, like, the, I don't know what it's called, but it looks better than ray guns is what I'm saying. <laughs> I guess that was uh, was nice Peter as Biden <laughs> coming in there. Instead of uh, building borders, building bridges, she's even got better walls because uh, walls is the name of her vice president pick. Yeah, that's just that's so that's that's a good bar. The verse started out a little little slow for me, just calling him gross, which is not untrue. But you know you got to come a little harder than that if you're in your first lines. But the, the rest of the, the verse was doing well for me. Um, admittedly, uh, some of Trump's barbs in this have been a little better. Um, but, you know, <laughs> ERP is luckily not an actual debate. And uh, the actual debate was a lot better on her side. The slow walk of Joe. Yeah. Um. Wouldn't do. 
wouldn't know communism if it bit him in his MAGA hat. And handed you everything you ever did. You couldn't make your own way. Couldn't even make your own kids. Your mommy was absent when you were just alone. I don't know what the right's obsession is with people who don't want to have children or choose not to have children as if that's like some sort of mark against them like you know they seem to they they want us to be pro-life but they're not pro-life they're pro-kid because once the life is had it's the, all support for that life stops from the right they want to make sure that kid is born and after that they want nothing to do with it if the parents can't care for the kid they don't want to be the ones to adopt it they're pro-kid they're not pro-life um, or as George Carlin would say they're not pro-life they're anti-woman if a woman can't bring a pregnancy to term because of a miscarriage they can't get the medical services they need in some places because abortion laws have been changed and because they can they have a a dead fetus inside them causing them sepsis there are women dying because they cannot give this unfortunate uh, miscarriage out of them this is fucking stupid why would people vote for that health is important for all americans not just the men. Women's health is important. See, I'm 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 soapboxing this whole fucking thing. I told you I was biased on this. I don't care. Take it back a little bit here. Again, also, all this bullshit about claiming that she slept her way to the top. Yeah, she slept her way to the vice presidency? Did she sleep with every voter? What? I, no, that's not how that fucking works. None of that. No. It's just more women hatred. Plain and simple. Way couldn't even make your own kids. Your mommy was absent when you were just a little baby. And if she saw you now, she wished you were a childless cat lady. <laughs> Yeah, you know what? Probably. Racist landlord daddy wasn't there to kill us. See me living rent free in your head. What? Ooh, that's a great bar. Because, yes, factually accurate, uh, Trump's father uh, was a racist landlord, would not rent to people of color, uh, and knowing that every, every diatribe that he rants about on Truth Social is about Kamala and just knowing that she lives rent free in his head yeah that's a great bar that is a great bar well I know I failed the bar exam after that I guess the half of you's job it is to rap isn't black oh good one <laughs> I I hate that that's a good line <laughs> cuz yes uh, for some reason there, there's always this this question that comes up with Republicans about, I thought she was Indian, now she's saying she's black? You don't understand how people can be multiple, multiracial? That's, that's like what everybody is. You know, I technically am like 1 16th Cherokee, but I'm also Irish, Scottish, German, Welsh. Many different peoples uh, from many different countries and yes, a, if, a, if a black person and an Indian person have a child, that child is both Indian and black. Because that's how genetics work. And you catch a smelling edgelord. You're out to be softer than Stormy Daniels' headphones. Rock the beat softer than Stormy Daniels' headboard. That's... That's a killing blow right there. I love that bar. I can't believe I'm even in a race with this hog. Hope you're in makeup in Ohio. Cause they're eating the dog! There it is. 
finally finally bringing that into the into the battle uh that ridiculous absolutely untrue they're eating the cats they're eating the dogs thing that he started chanting during the debate that her reaction is like this motherfucker like no it's none of it was true and <laughs> it's like the person who even like started the supposed rumor was like i'm sorry i even said that because i know it's not true either and it just got picked up and ran with by the republican party the republican party sorry it tripped over my own tongue uh, just the amount of stupid. And of course he believes it because he believes everything that he's told about everything and he's only told things by the things that he vets himself or whatever. It just... He doesn't read. We know that shit. I'm putting you away like a racist back in county. You should leave this battle early like the crowds at your rally. They have been leaving in droves in his rallies when they've been showing up at all. Admittedly, the Madison Square Garden one was pretty full, which was very depressing. Um, uh, I will say, uh, the Madison Square Garden rally, a lot of uh, racist things happened there, uh, especially, uh, most notably in the, in the press about Puerto Rico. But Weird Al Yankovic, being the amazing comedian that he is, uh, posted uh, on threads, he says, uh, I, I promise that my uh, appearance at Madison Square Garden will be a lot funnier. And somebody said, don't you mean it'll have less na Nazis? And he said, no, I think you mean it'll have fewer, less na fewer Nazis. Fewer, playing on f fewer, uh, I probably fucked up in the delivery of that, and I don't care anymore. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, uh, Al, Al is great, and and taking the opportunity to make fun of that when Al himself doesn't do a lot of political comedy is pretty great. Yes, well I've got Taylor Swift. You're ugly. You are ugly. Well, you're a Marxist. Jump in, Jesus H. Huckleberry Christ on a crutch. Well, we didn't have Abe Lincoln come into this one. Uh, we've had Abe interrupt some of the rap battles before, especially the presidential ones played by Nice Peter. This time. Uh, <laughs> I, I think this is a, this is a, uh, a president that, uh, nice, that Epic Lloyd has played before, coming in on a bull moose. No one wants to fight about politics this much! You! Madam Red, White, and Pants Suit! Don't let getting higher be the greatest thing you ever do! And you! Sweet baby back ribs up in hell! <laughs> Try not to slot democracy straight to chapter 11! <laughs> Yes, uh, putting the country in national debt. Uh, yeah, like the economy was in shambles when Biden inherited it from Trump's run and has put it in the best position it's ever been in. Trump goes back into it again, he's going to destroy it, especially with all the bullshit about Project 2025 and the stuff that that's trying to enact and how that will crumble basically every infrastructure we ever established. Um, I, I want, I want to say he's playing Teddy Roosevelt, and I'm not sure, because my brain is, like, fried from this fucking battle as is, um, but I think that's who he's playing. He's played him before, and they called him the Bull Moose, so I think that's who Teddy, the, the Teddy Roosevelt connection they're riding in on a giant fucking moose. But yes, this is kind of the same thing that Abe Lincoln did in one of the battles, but in the battle between, uh, Obama and Mitt Romney. And, uh, yeah. I'm here on the back of my musky admin base With a message for whichever one of you who's obsolete Let's come on, it was founded on self-evident truths So keep it of the people, by the people, on the people Moles! <laughs> yes, which one of you sucks the least? We're not gonna deny that, uh, the two people we have running, yes, there are third parties, but third party at this point. We're a two-party system. The third party has not gained enough ground so that any votes for a third party is basically just gonna go to Trump. It, let's be honest. But the uh, the two parties, that the, the two candidates that we have, they're not fantastic. Uh, Kamala does have her own issues, absolutely. Trumps are worse, so 
and Kamala is the lesser of two evils, which is always a shitty argument to make in any instance. Yes, we want somebody to be good. Nobody's fucking perfect. Uh, at least nobody that's running is. And so we want to get the person who's as close to what we're hoping for for us and the country to be the one elected. But yes, uh, we hold these truths to be self-evident of the people, by the people, for the people. Eagle is what uh, Nick, uh, the, the Lincoln would say, but because it's, it's Teddy, it's Moose instead. Kimberly Michelle Vaughn, <laughs> LL Alquist as, <laughs> which is Lloyd, an epic Lloyd, directed by Joe Biden, uh, directed by uh, Nice Peter. Uh, my battery on my camera is about to die, so I'm not going to go through the outro on this, uh, but uh, I, I enjoyed that battle a lot better than I enjoyed the last one that they did. Uh, I hope... Uh, you did too. If you did, please like, share, comment, subscribe, do all the things to feed the algorithm. Check out the original video in the description box below. And if you really want to help this channel out, consider supporting me like these people over here do. And you can get to see these videos early, my comedy and music early, exclusive reactions, and all sorts of other cool things like that. Anyway, we'll see you next time, everybody. Go vote. See you later. Bye. Good.